Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 17th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can serve HTML pages to the client. Okay then, Doug. So in the last tutorial we used this server we created to send some data to the client, the browser. And that data was a readme.txt file and we sent it via creating this read stream and then piping that to the response. So that was sent to the browser and we saw all that lorem ipsum in the browser. Now, in a real world application, you're probably not gonna to wanna to send a load of lorem ipsum for the viewer to see. And you'll probably want to send maybe a HTML page. So in this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we can do that. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a HTML page. I'm gonna to go to new file and I'm gonna call this index.html. And this is just sitting in the roots of the Node.js playlist directory. Okay, so let's just quickly write this up. So doc type HTML and then HTML. We'll do a head tag and then we'll do a body tag. And in this body, I just want to keep it simple. I'm going to do a H1 and I'm going to say, welcome to the most awesome website on the net because quite simply, that's what it's going to be. And then a P tag. We'll say you won't find a website better anywhere else. I speak only the truth. All right. So what I'm going to do is just add a few styles to this document. And normally I do this in an external style sheet, but we're going to cover that later on because we do need to do other things for that to work. And in this style tag, I'm going to say, first of all, body. And then the background is going to be sky blue and font family Vedana color white. These are just some really simple styles. I'm not doing anything special here. We'll say padding 30, uh, yeah, 30 pixels. And then the next one, H1, we'll say font size is going to be, oops, and we want that to be a style tag, not styles was wondering why it wasn't picking up the coloring. Okay, so the font size of this is gonna be 48 pixels. And then the text transform is gonna be uppercase. And the letter spacing will stay around two pixels. And text align to the center. I am almost done now, guys. Just one more rule uh, for the P tag. And that is gonna be a font size of around 16 pixels, text align center. All right, cool. So let's save that now. So we've done our index file and this is what we wanna serve up to the user on the browser. So how can we send that? Well, it's pretty similar. First of all, let's change this content type, this MIME type right here to text forward slash HTML because then the browser knows what to do with HTML if it gets it. If we just keep this as text plain, then it's just going to treat this as a text file and output all of this code to the browser as it is here. But if we put text forward slash HTML, it's going to treat this as a HTML file and render it in the browser properly. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is change this file to index.html. Okay, and now we're done. So we can now go ahead and run this by saying node app. And right there it says we're listening to port 3000. So let's go ahead and navigate to it. And now we see this index.html site. And I think you'll agree this is the most awesome website on the net. So what we've done this time is instead of sending plain text to the browser, we've gone ahead and created a HTML file and we've sent that to the browser instead. We've specified that it's HTML here and we've supplied the path to the file and we've sent it to the browser. So that is how we serve up HTML to a client. So if you've got any questions, feel free to ask those down below. Otherwise guys, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.